Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Suikoden! Alright, since last time, we made it here to the Warrior's Village. And let's talk to Zorak again. Yeah, and remember we need to get a special weapon that can defeat Necklord, the Vampire. West of this village is the Temple of Klan, huh? Okay, then. Supposed to hide a secret. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, yeah, that's our next destination is to head to Klan. Now also, you can go in here to the armor shop here, and you can get better equipment. Uh, the dragon armor here, yeah. Plus 34 on defense. Yeah, nobody can equip the full armor. Uh, there's different types of armor in this game. Like a full armor, it can only basically be used by tank characters. And I don't believe we actually have any right now at the moment. Anyways, I still do not want to buy dragon armors though. Because their ninja suits provides a huge speed bonus. And frankly, I like speed bonuses better than just straight defense. So anyway, that's all we can do here. So let's head west to Klan. Or we can get into a battle. Okay, here's a new enemy, a Hellhound. And he's dead. <laughs> yeah, these enemies really aren't that tough. But they are somewhat tough in here. Okay, we made it to Klan. Now before doing anything, hopefully you guys have the um, those seeds. So let's give this to this guy. We delivered the red, blue, and yellow flower seeds, and this guy's name is Zen. No problem. Yeah, and if you don't have the seeds, you can actually buy them at the Warrior's Village, Recon, and TN. But alright, since giving him the seeds, Zen joins the party. Alright. Okay, let's head in here. And let's talk to this guy. His name is Fukian. Star Master? Yeah, what the hell is that? So we're the destined leaders of the 108 stars of heaven and earth. <laughs> uh, the star of heavenly loneliness. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I like how they give you a little background on the 108 recruitable characters in this game. I love that. Nice touch they threw in here. Yeah, we came here to find out how to destroy Neck Lord. Okay, and Fukian joins the party. Cave of the Past. And apparently what we're looking for is in there. Yeah, so this is a dungeon, almost. Well, it is, so... And the enemies are fairly tough, especially if you do not have your weapon sharpened. Anyways, before heading in there, let's head up here. And let's talk to this guy. His name is Morgan. And due to circum certain circumstances, well, he's staying here. What do you mean you'd like to see our face? Oh, yeah, he's, he's blind since birth. Let's recruit this guy. All right, Morgan joins the party, just like that. Talk to this guy, his name is Hugo. Now, this is critical. Have we seen the war scroll? Yeah, he'll repay us if we can find it. Now, that is critical. Anyways, let's head over here. And let's head into this dungeon here. Um, let's see here. What do we want to do? Um... Now, you can head east to a save point. Okay, here's some new enemies. Clay Dolls and Red Elementals. Now, since we don't have uh, Kai here, let's just free will. We're basically going to free will most of the battles. And I believe these guys can drop speed rune pieces, which is very nice. Look at that! We gained four levels off one battle. 
in Cleo Gain 7? Holy cow! Okay, um, where do we want to go here? We actually want to head west and up here. And we got a Crimson Cape. Let's check that out. Yeah, plus 21 on defense. Let's give that to Tyr right away. Ooh, not bad at all. All right. Now let's head east. Okay, here's a new enemy, Banshees. Now... Throughout here, you could be using Kirkus and Stallion's uh, special ability. I'll show it off in just a second. Let's head north. Okay, yeah, I'll show it off here. Let's use their Unite ability, Wild Arrow Attack. It hits all enemies. Look at that damage. It's basically as abusive as Kai and Tears ability. Wow, we're already at level 40. Okay, yeah, and I'm going to keep pretty much all of these battles in here on screen because they're only going to take one round at max. So, there we go. Come on, give me a speed rune piece. Didn't get it. All right, whatever. Okay, we got a medicine there. And a flowing rune. That is a key rune, guys. What that is, it's basically an upgraded version of a water rune. They, throughout this game, they have upgraded runes, basically. Like, they have a lightning rune, but then they also have a thunder rune. And a thunder rune is way more powerful than the lightning one. And I'll show that off. I'm going to be using that flowing crystal a lot throughout this, uh... LP. So, there we go. Okay, let's head south now. Now, is this the room? Huh. I know there's a room in here. Let's free will this. That there's a secret passage throughout the wall. So, and it's really kind of hard to tell where it is. Because most of the runes, most of the rooms, they look the same, so. I think it's this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's head down here and we get a window crystal. That's another critical rune. You need that rune to be able to recruit somebody later on. Right there, we get a headgear. I don't believe anybody can... Yeah, oh, huh. I thought I bought one for Kirkus before. All right, 176 to 181, not bad. Okay, this one I may not be able to take out in one single round. Let's see here. Come on. Okay, yeah, we did, all right. I believe we want to head north first, yeah. And we got an old book, Volume 2. Okay, let's just continue south now. Okay, yeah, we're going to start letting go of these enemies. Now, before heading up these stairs, let's grab this. We got 5,000 bits. All right. And we got another escape talisman. We're going to be using one of those to get out of here. So bear with me there. If you don't have one, well, there you go. You got one. Okay, yeah, you head down here and you kind of navigate around. Huh. This is uh, pretty important. Okay, let's talk to this guy. His name is Crowley. He didn't think anybody would come over here. Okay, now that is a, a key piece of information. When our castle gets bigger, he'll consider joining us. He will not join you right now. You need to have the next expansion in the headquarters for him to be able to be recruited. Oh, come on. 
Alright, there we go. Yeah, we want to head north first. And we got the War Scroll! Alright! Yeah, sorry if I'm going through that a little too quickly. We do have a ton of stuff to do today. So. But yeah, now that we have the War Crystal, we can give it back to that guy and see what uh, he'll do for us. Hopefully he repays us by uh, giving us a ton of bits or something. Yeah, let's actually uh, kill these guys off. Hopefully get a speed rune piece. Damn it. Oh, having Stallion in our party is huge with that uh, true holy rune. And remember, Victor has the Sunbeam room, so, so that's why I'm not really bothered about healing. Because it heals HP per one step, so. But I will be removing that off of Victor soon enough. And replacing it with a different rune. Got a me medicine there. And a silverlet. Let's check that out. Defense plus 11? Yeah, it's uh, terrible. We don't need that. Huh. We can't let go of these guys? What the heck? Okay. Got up to level 43 all around. Okay, now I'm going to take a second and be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, head down these stairs now. And keep letting go of these enemies. And let's head up here. We'll get a skill rune piece. And a mega medicine. All right. Where's that skill rune piece at? There we go. Let's use that on tier. Skill increased. All right. Now let's head over here. Now, this, this place is pretty straightforward now. Let's take these guys out, why not? Okay. Hey, what the heck is this? Yeah, it must have been what the old man was talking about. A sword? Whoa, this sword talks! The Star Dragon Sword! Holy cow! Yeah, it actually, uh... Well, it warped us somewhere. <laughs> okay. Hey, who's that little kid? What the heck? Alright, let's get this kid. This guy's name is Ted. Yeah, what treasure? Okay, then. The village chief. is his grandpa, huh? Yeah, that was kind of odd, wasn't it? He does kind of look like Ted. He it does kind of remind us of him. Yeah, there's really nothing else to do here. Now, before talking to him, let's uh, go raid his house of treasure. We get a mega medicine. All right. Now, let's talk to this old man. Yeah, what woman? I have no idea what you're talking about, man. Huh. Jesus, man, calm down. Let's go uh, talk to this guy. Hey, it's Wendy. That's, that uh, must be the girl he, he's talking about. And what's she doing with Necklord? Oh, 
what rune? Oh, apparently this grandpa village chief guy has the soul eater. But we have the soul eater. That's odd. I didn't know there was two of those runes. Village of the Hidden Rune. Holy cow! Uber, huh? Yeah, and just like uh, Ted did uh, near the beginning of the game, he uses the uh, rune right here to, well, I guess get away from uh, Lady Windy. No problem. Oh, yeah. I guess he, uh... I guess we're kind of in the past, it seems. I love this about this game, where it shows you a little bit of background on Ted and how he actually obtained the Soul Eater rune. Look at how cool that, that uh, animation looks. Okay, yeah, and Ted received the Soul Eater Room. Oh, yeah. Up ahead is a little secret path. Isn't this kind of what Ted did in the beginning of the game? Acted as a decoy for us to get away? Okay, yeah, let's get on out of here. Now, there's really nothing else to do here. You have to go down this path. And who's this guy? His name is Uber. And he's one of my favorite villains ever in all RPGs. He's easily top three of my favorite villains. He's really not that uh, critical in this game, though he is critical in the second and third game of uh, Suikoden. Holy, wow, this guy's hardcore. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, they left, so we're safe. Yeah, it does seem like this is the Ted we used to know. Oh yeah, Ted did mention something that happened 300 years ago. Remember when we were uh, trying to flee on that dragon? He said he was over 300 years old. This is what he meant. Yeah, let's go check that place out, but first, let's head back in here. Now, a lot of people don't seem to know about this, but I do, so let's head all the way back down here, and right here we get a boar crystal, or a boar rune. Totally worthless, but I figure I'll get it. That's kind of the rune that Pan has. He's equipped the boar rune. Anyways, let's head back up here. Hahaha. <laughs> Now, we can't actually take him along. It's a forced uh, decision. We have to say we can't take him along. I don't know, man. You should uh, rebuild your burnt village. I mean, that'd be a start. Okay, yeah, and we warp back into the... to Klan, the dungeon in Klan. Alright, let's just head south now. And go back to the Star Dragon Sword. <laughs> well, that is true. Well, 
yeah. To defeat Necklord. Sign sounds kind of odd. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got the Star Dragon Sword for Victor. That's his new weapon, check it out. It's now called the King Dragon Sword since it's above a level 12 upgraded weapon. And it is very good. I mean, take a look at his uh, damage, or his attack power. 163 to only 136 on tier. So yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty good. Anyways, let's use a uh, escape talisman to get the hell out of here. And before leaving here, remember we got that war scroll. So let's head over here and talk to uh, Hugo. Sure, we'll take uh, one million bits. No, he uh, wants to join our party and all right, Hugo joins the party. But that's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Sweek It In. This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time.